All right, uh, we are uh, next phase of the Mighty Mule gate install. And uh, this one is the uh, vehicle sensor uh, to open up the gate when we leave. Um, this piece here, uh, this is the other uh, uh, sensor that we are not going to need um, because our uh, gate opener, uh, ours works. So our receiver in there works. So we don't need that receiver. We figured that out. We've already set this up. We've already tested it. We've got the uh, PVC piping. Um, we're going to put the sensor, the, uh, the one that uh, hooks to the, to the board over there is going to go here. We're going to roll back here and put in the uh, vehicle sensor. I've got my auger buddy of mine uh, kind of gave me a little trick. Just dig a, a series of holes and uh, be easier than digging it all out with a shovel. So that's going to be our it's going to be our setup. I'll come back when we've got, got holes dug and uh, line drawn, and uh, we'll test it one more time before we uh, put everything in. All right, we uh, retested the uh, sensor. It all works. Uh, basically, got a little trench started to the sensor, and I'm going to go ahead and get the. Uh, auger and dig this out it's awful rocky we'll see how it goes only got to go down about a foot um, so we'll see how it goes was a interesting experiment would have worked great except you see we have <coughs> boulders in here and uh, auger doesn't work too well with boulders and it got a little less as you got towards the fence but I'm gonna have to get the shovel and dig out the rest uh, yeah it would have worked great uh, other than all the giant boulders so we uh, just got a little bit of digging to do, and uh, then we'll be ready to uh, lay the uh, PVC piping down. Okay. So we got the uh, sensor all installed, the uh, PVC pipe uh, down to the transmitter, and we've tested it uh, three or four times, and we've had success. Now we're going to bury everything and we'll test it one more time and uh, hopefully it all works because we don't want to dig this up again. All right, uh, we'll be back. One final test uh, before we bury everything. We buried the sensor only and uh, we're going to have the truck come through and uh, make sure it sets Set the gate off. And gate's opening. Okay. And that's all we needed to find out. So we're going to go ahead and bury everything. And then we'll go ahead and do one final test. Make sure everything works. All right, this is a uh, first full run. We got everything buried. Uh, that car actually took a little bit sooner than the truck. 
champion. So the sensor is right here. There goes the gate. I have it on auto close. So I'm going to go out and turn around. Close. Alrighty, uh, we've got the uh, trench all filled in. Uh, put as much grass back as I could. Uh, I'm not worried that it'll all regrow. So here's the uh, other thing going on. Bit of a hint. Uh, if anybody buys this uh, wireless uh, vehicle sensor, uh, just a note: it has its own receiver. Uh, and in the instructions, I'll just kind of flip to it a little bit. It uh, talks about testing your control board. And it says uh, if your control board is blue, just go right to the test section. As you can see, my control board is green. And if it's green, you turn to page four, and it shows these uh, control boards none of which uh, matches mine. Uh, so we kind of hooked up this uh, receiver and um, didn't work uh, because I don't have a, I'm supposed to have a receiver uh, hookup. I don't have that. Uh, I don't have uh, any uh, switches that go to nine. So I just, Disconnected it. You can see it's sitting right here and just use the receiver that came with the box even though this is only green not blue. So if you do have a uh, Mighty Mule, this was a 370, yeah, 371 right there. This is the control board I got. If your control board looks like this and you are trying to hook up this Sorry about that you're trying to hook up this wireless sensor on a 371 and you have a board like this you just use the uh, internal receiver uh, it tells you uh, on the transmitter to match the dip switches on your uh, your own little transmitter our transmitters uh, there's no dip switches so we just uh, change the dip switch move two numbers on the transmitter which is uh, this green piece right here. This is the transmitter and uh, you just pop off this cover. There's some dip switches. We just uh, move the dip switches, change them, and that transmitter works with our onboard receiver. So kind of hokey. Uh, same thing happened to our keypad, which is right over there. It was the same deal. Match the dip switches in the keyboard with the dip switches on your transmitter that you use to open the gate. Uh, we don't have any dip switches on our transmitter. So we did the same thing with our keypad. We just uh, moved two dip switches and it works with this receiver as well. So um, I do like the Mighty Mule. It does work great. So. I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this one up on the wireless vehicle sensor for the Mighty Mule MM371W. Uh, that's a wrap, and uh, that's farm life.